Coach Jackson Jr. And I came here today just to talk to y'all and tell y'all a little about me, a little about my story. And I grew up on DuPont and Home Street. Like, y'all know where that's at. On the north side, y'all know, like, that's one of the roughest areas on the north side. And I was born and raised. And ever since I was a little boy, probably about four or five years old, I always wanted to play in the NBA. Like, I had that dream. So I'd probably walk up, like, back then, we didn't really have, I didn't really have a basketball hoop. So my dad nailed a milk crate to a tree, and I used to shoot like that. And I just did that till I was about seven years old, till I was affordable, so we could get a hoop. And as I go now, I used to dribble the ball up and down Home Street, Austin, Glen, Ball, and all them streets. And like, as I got older, I just started to realize, like, some of the people that I used to hang around were no good. So I had to separate myself in order to get where I wanted to be. I know I wanted to be a professional, so therefore some of the friends that I hung around, I had to not just put them to the side, but I had to distance myself a little bit because I wanted to be that professional athlete. And like a week ago, I just signed to play professional basketball in Germany. But like leading up into all that, it's like you got to be motivated and dedicated to whatever you want to do. If you want to play basketball, if you want to play football, or we just want to go to school and just get be a nurse, an engineer, whatever you want to be. You just got to put your mind to it and just say you're going to do it. Like, don't never tell, don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do. Because you can do anything you put your mind to. And I just use that as motivation. It's just some of the stuff people used to tell me, you're too small, you're too short, you ain't fast enough, you ain't strong enough. I just took all that and just ate it all up and just put it in the bar. And every time I work out, I just remember all them thoughts that everybody was saying. And now everybody be congratulating me slowly, the ones who told me that I wouldn't make it. And I still, I say what's up, I, because like one thing about it, you gotta, you gotta show respect. Like wherever you go, you gotta show respect. So even though they was down talking to me here and there, you still gotta show respect at the end of the day, because you never know who that person might know that can help you get to where you need to get. And that's just like right here, Antoine, he used to tell me work out, every, like everything from conditioning. He would text me like with the jump rope. He told me if you could jump 10 minutes on the jump rope, you would be fast. So I went down to St. Louis a week ago. I mean, not a week ago, probably about a month ago. I had went down there. From the day we was at Carmel High School, he told me, get up to 10 minutes on the jump rope. So I'm jumping on the jump rope, two minutes. Like, dang, I can't get it. Then I finally got it. Then four or six minutes, dang, I can't get it. Probably about two weeks ago, I told him I keep getting stuck at eight minutes. Like, I couldn't get over eight minutes. And two days ago, I got to ten minutes. Like, he was just jumping. And then I ain't tired no more. And I went down to St. Louis, and I was rated number one point guard at the whole camp. And then at that camp, that's how I got that offer to go overseas to Germany. Because I've been overseas to Italy, Spain, Mexico. I don't travel three different places to play basketball around the world. Just like the NBA draft. I entered the NBA draft this, this past one, but God had led me a different direction. He said, go this way. So I'm going over here to Germany, but he's going to lead me to that point, that NBA point. So when I get that opportunity, which I will, if I just keep grinding and staying focused, I'm going to make it because it ain't no doubt on my mind that I'm not going to make it. And that being said, it's like the choices that you make can affect like, you. For instance, say if, if we all in this room and I go, I'm talking to y'all right now, and I go out these doors and say I'm going to rob, uh, break in a car. You got to think, before I break in that car, there's going to be consequences. So is it me spending 10, 15 years behind bars? Is that really worth that? And it's just like, it's just the choices. That, like, moral of the story is just the choices that you make. That's like the most important thing. Like with me, basketball, I mean, I use basketball to get where I need to get, but that's not, that's not me. Because at the end of the day, when I put the ball down, I want to open up my own business, broadcasting or something like that. And I also want to be like a trainer and help people get in school. Because I helped a couple people get in school, a D Division II school for basketball right now. I helped two of them because I know people. And I told them once you finish that, since I'm overseas, it's easy for me to bring y'all overseas. So it's like, anybody here ever need something? If y'all see me like out and about, if y'all need some help with something, just ask me. I'm, I'm more than welcome to help anyone y'all with anything y'all need. Whether it's school, if y'all just need help with anything. Football, 
Ya, dia sadi kemana usun nawi. 